My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and <laughs> So this thing has been a pain in the ass. So what I'm trying to do is I've been trying for weeks now, bit by bit by bit, and it's just lack of organisation, getting excited about other videos and so on, that I forget what I'm doing and I don't do it and it gets and yeah, and every time I come to it I keep on forgetting something or whatever. So a week after doing the um CVT video about uh, engine braking I was going to quickly do the video um, with the GoPro mounted and racing up and down the street just showing you uh, what happens when you do engine braking and CVTs and all the rest of it. Now I'm not going to get into that video because there's a moral of the story to that video but anyway moving on the problem is is every time I come to this fucking thing something else goes wrong so but first, you can see, can you see that up there? Yeah, you can see there's a big battery. The battery just collapsed on me for some reason. It was 12.6 volts, and I found out what it is now. It's the main, one of the main fuses is loosely connected, so it's arcing, and it's been arcing for ages. Um, so that battery died, that was one weekend. So then I had to get my other battery out, my um, reserve battery, then charge that, because that was fucking going, running flat a bit. So I went and charged that, that was a fucking pain in the ass, and then I um, started doing this and it was just been a dickhead. I finally got it to run, then I realised, um, then I finally got it to run, that was it. And then I was using um, a, d a test indicator to uh, glue onto here and then have the GoPro. Getting the GoPro to mount on that fucking thing was a pain in the ass, it kept on falling off. Um, literally the GoPro would fall off. Then I thought, right, forget that. So I've now had to order a fucking thing that straps onto here that's a proper GoPro mount that can hold the camera. All is good. That GoPro mount arrived, stuck it on, and then all of a sudden she's not playing ball. And I was pissing around going, it won't fucking start. It won't do anything. There's a reason why, is it's because, and it's always been a knobhead to start, but someone has wired um, the automatic choke on this backwards so you've got to plug it, plug it in, plug it. Anyway, while I was trying to fuck around, I got it running. It then choked out and stalled. And then after that, it just wouldn't fucking start. Um, the other thing I had to do was, uh, this is a pain in the ass. So this is the uh, sprag off the uh, Kickstarter and I stick that on here. And this is how we, um, not wrong way, dickhead. This is how we are going to start it because the starter benedict has to sit in here which goes from the starter motor to here that engages these teeth without the cover on it just flaps around so even if you do start it it's flapping it's dangerous so we're not going to do that um so that's why i'm doing it this way um so it's run out of fuel and i ain't got any fuel with me right now so i was like oh for fuck's sake you gotta remember this is weekend on weekend on weekend on weekend and this isn't my highest priority of things to do and all the rest of it so i forget stuff I then go and get the stuff and don't put a plan into action. So now it's gone up the pecking order as this fucking video um, to the point where I now have to sort it. So GoPro mount, um, I need to get some fuel. I need to get it running, running, running first during the week. And then at the weekend, I can do the actual video of me riding around like a knobhead, getting good footage. But this video isn't just about that. This video is about something else. And it's a video I watched very, very recently. I think it was yesterday. It was an AVE video and he was talking about, he was doing the ratchet video, so it was the, the, the cheap shit versus um, the snap-on um, where he's got that hydraulic uh, torque wrench, that uh, thin profile hydraulic uh, torque wrench and um, he's doing all the testing and he starts to talk what's out of plane and forces and bending moments and stuff which was really quite cool i got I, right you know i got geeky on that one i started getting a pad out and doing a bit of calculations and uh yeah it was all good and all the rest of it it was the point he made right at the last minute actually and um he was talking about things failing and he was doing a bit of an fa about uh sharing and uh, ultimate yield strength and all the rest of it and what he said was a very good point, and he said it's about where things fail. You know, he was talking about um, 
the ratchet jumping teeth and saving your knuckles and stuff like that and things not damaging you and in a sense that's where I want to come at at this point because um, the, the, the decision to use this so this is a pain in the ass it keeps on slipping and the reason why it keeps on slipping well, the reason why it keeps on slipping is because this part of the shaft I'm going to replace this because these teeth are fucking mullered as you can see the ends are just completely fucking fried shit fit but this shaft is hardened so what I need to do is I need to grind some flats three flats so the drill can grab it because all it's doing now is it, the the chuck teeth in here are hardened these are hardened and they're just skating and getting really fucking hot so it grabs and it doesn't and it yeah it's shite so I need to sort that out um, so we can you know basically engage this properly but why am I doing this someone I can imagine straight away saying well why are you doing that why don't you just stick a socket clean on there you know get the impact out um, get the impact out and just you know bung a socket on there and you know this does reverse it's got three speeds would be easily able to get this thing fired off there's a reason why you don't do something crazy stupid like that is one this is an impact gun um, number two uh, you will be undoing this nut that's the second reason but thirdly is when the engine actually fires up so you've got an engine here that produces i think this is like three or four horsepower but that is a lot of power you know what i mean um and there's a, you know these things can stick out a fair amount of torque then you've got this thing which is a hammer drill and all the rest of it and then you've got a socket in between it and a nut in the end of your shaft in between it now this shaft is sticking out quite a long way and it's what that's an m is that an m10 or an m12 that's an m10 shaft that's sticking out of there you don't want to shear off the whole thing when the engine they're trying to go the same way but this is the whole point of this sprag is that you can see the engagement of the teeth is fuck all so when we go to wind on it's easy actually it, it, that's a problem it's actually getting it to you've got to press to get it to stick to actually engage um, but when one starts to overpower the other, basically the speed will change and what will happen is, is the engine will start going faster than the drill and it will cam off. That's what will happen with these two. So this is why these, are, these engagements are used full stop in the engine so you don't fucking just start trying to spin around your kickstart. But secondly, it's also, you know, in this application what I'm doing, um, this is part of a ring gear that is clamped, this is part of a ring uh, washer in a sense, a drive that's in clamped so the ch it's, you know there isn't enough teeth there isn't a fucking grip there enough material meat to um, shear off this you're gonna fuck this or you're gonna fuck that before you fuck the shaft that's coming out and that's what the point he was making about um, be quite mindful and aware of if you do something wrong how is it going to fucking explode in your face if it goes titty wampus how is it going to go you know what I mean um, I watch uh, Michael who does all the big gigantic swords um, and there's times when <laughs> he does say don't do it and stuff like that but I do sometimes worry you know I'm not one of these safety drama llamas or what have you but fuck me when he's got a massive weight like this of steel um, you know one of these big uh, pummels or something like that and he's got it in his drill press and he's swinging it around and all this. It you've got to think to yourself about that. Is that is a drill press? That is not a milling machine. Which means that that chuck is held in by an arbor, and that arbor, that basically that's a Morse taper. Generally speaking, it could be a Jacobs, it could be a B16 or whatever. But it's a taper. That's all it is. You know, it's a taper, and it could let go. That's an awful lot of mass, and that drill was never designed to have that kind of mass and rotate it at 600 700 up to a thousand rpm it was not designed to do that at all that's a shitload of weight you know you think about that weight compared to a drill bit and you've got to remember that drills are designed that taper is designed so when you drill down the forces are counteracting that going up into the actual collar uh, into the taper so in a sense the more you drill with that thing that the you know the more it drives that taper in um but if things go wrong and all the rest of it, he's got weight that's winging around at 6,000, you know, 600 RPM or something shit like that. Possibly, possibly, with a fucking drill arbor attached to it. 
You know what I mean? And when that starts to wallow and go wonky, it could just fight, it could let go, and it could fire out, hit him in the face, and literally, well, it could crack his skull open. It could knock him clean out, or it could, you know, because he's like this, grinding it or something. It is mental, you see, he's not thinking there. It's his own life and all the rest of it. I'm not, you know, shooting the guy down. He's, he's trying to, but he needs to think about what he's doing for a second. One of the things he does do, which is the cleverer way to do, is have a support underneath it, where, um, you know, he'll have a shaft running through it and it spins and it has a, a support, a bearing support, a plane bearing basically, a bearing support in his table, you know what I mean? But when he has these things hanging out and they're winging around, that is just fucking whoa. Because, you know, you might think, oh, well, it's all right in that shaft, you know, it can hold the drill a bit. You've got to think further up, mate, it's the fucking chuck and all the rest of it. When that comes winging out, you know, imagine someone throwing a chuck at your face. You know what I mean? It's, uh, and it's, it's, it's roulette. It's swinging around. It's going to go fucking anywhere. You know what I mean? It's going to go fucking anywhere. It, you know, unluckily enough, it could just fly off and knock the fucking uh, valve off the top of his gas bottle and start firing his fucking oxycetylene bottles around or something. You know what I mean? Um, you've just got to kind of think of the applicate, what, you, what you're trying to do. You know, there are, there, a lot of people bastardise stuff. I do it now and then. But you really have to think about um, you know what you're doing what you're gonna break a lot of the time it's actually uh, well sometimes it depends what you're dealing with if you're dealing with small stuff like this um, it's not the end of the world generally what you're gonna do is you're either gonna break your tool you're gonna break your your other tool <laughs> and um, with bigger stuff especially what AVE has been doing with them you know them hydraulics and stuff like that uh, you know getting to the sheer strength of some of these metals um, it's dangerous for him <laughs> you know what I mean like you said you know get get under this pile of blankets it's um yeah so you know you, you have to be aware of you know these uh stupid things that people do you know what i mean you have to be aware and respect that's the best word i can think of you have to respect some of the forces some of the materials and when they explode what the fucking hell's going to happen you know what i mean um any road I don't want it to sound preachy and all the rest of it i'm not saying don't do these things i'm just saying be fully aware you know, before you stick your dick in that vice, um, that it is a vice and it is your dick. It's just made out of meat, and uh, it could all um, it could all just turn to mush and gravy. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.